thought I'd watch some videos of Peltier elements and things and uh, see what other people had done with them and uh, I was a little disappointed so I thought well why don't I show my refrigerator so uh, this is my Peltier unit refrigerator it's uh, it's about 100 watts it's four cubic feet and it's got three inches of foam insulation on all sides it's a shallow chest design. So here we have the uh, sides with all their insulation, uh, foam. It's just basically made out of foam. It's got uh, Nagahide vinyl, sort of vinylized cloth covering and a skirt also with the covering. And it's got a Pelche element that originated as a Pelche uh, camping cooler. Uh, so I've got the heat sink from that and the fan from that and a different Pelche uh, module which is uh, drawing about 7 amps at 12 volts. That's plugged into my uh, CAT standard 12 volt uh, socket, plug, plug and socket, um, which uh, the design is on thingiverse.com for 3D printing. And uh, the Pelche. So this is the warm side, the heat sink and the fan blow away the warmth and an aluminum rod goes through into the inside of the fridge and into this uh, covered tray of water and ice. And so what happens is it's frozen about half this water to ice over the course of the day and uh, the evening because it uh, needs to work into the evening. So while the solar collector is collecting during the day, the fridge is on. And at night, when the solar collector isn't working, the fridge is off and the melting ice keeps it cold. Uh, right now we're sitting here just below the ice compartment at uh, about 2 degrees uh, Celsius and got a bunch of food in here and stuff and I'm working on other Pelche things too and thermoelectric generators. So uh, this is using uh, uh, 100 watts as I said and of course with the shallow chest design everything you you want is mostly accessible uh, compared to a uh, regular fridge where you have to reach behind everything and get it out somehow from in front. And of course, uh, as with all fridges, the less you have in there, the easier it is to get stuff out. But uh, there's not too many things up on top of too many other things. And now this, I mentioned this was 100 watts and it's using about a kilowatt hour a day uh, running 10 to 12 hours and I'm going to replace this 7 amp Pelche module with two 7 amp Pelche modules uh, electrically in series and thermally in parallel with each other because I've just uh, been reading the data sheets and it looks very much like uh, uh, as you decrease the drive to the Pelche modules, the efficiency goes up and the coefficient of performance goes up. So uh, with two in series electrically, you're driving them much less. The heat pumping, uh, surprisingly, hardly goes down at all, even though you're drawing half the current because half the voltage is lost across each Pelche unit. So drive it at two-fifths to three-fifths of its rated uh, maximum instead of uh, close to its maximum and you get much more efficiency so I expect when I put the two units in series here that uh, I'll get virtually the same cooling with half the electrical current being drawn three and a half amps from my poor solar collectors instead of seven amps and I think that's pretty remarkable and it uh, has uh, more applications in uh, uh, Pelche element heat pumps for uh, for heating rooms in the winter. Uh, coefficient of performance at sort of above uh, freezing temperatures is uh, likely to be about two or maybe even a little better. Uh, so instead of uh, putting in a 400 watt electric heater and getting 400 watts of heat out, you will get put in 200 watts of electricity and get 400 watts of heat out 
using your Peltier heat pump, which will require one little uh, uh, aluminum rod or maybe two rods uh, with uh, two holes drilled through the wall. So anyway, I've gone on and on, and all I was talking about was my, uh, all I started talking about was my Peltier element refrigerator, and there it is, made last summer.